My name is James Green. I'm half American Indian and half Negro. I was born enslaved in Petersburg, Virginia on the Mr. John Williams plantation. You see, my mammy was owned by Mr. Williams and I was born to her on that plantation. My father planned to free me because he is a full-blooded Indian and had done some big favor for a big man high up in the courts. And he got me set free. And then Master Williams laughed and called me the free boy. So my father's efforts were futile. Then, one day Master Williams come up and say, Delia, will you tell Jim to walk down the street with me? My mammy say, all right, Jim, you be a good boy. And that was the last time I ever heard her speak or ever seen her. We walks down where the houses grows close together and pretty soon comes to the slave market. I ain't seen it before, but when Master Williams says, get up on the block, I got a funny feeling and I knows what has happened. I was sold to Master John Pinchbeck. We leaves right away for Texas and goes to Master's Ranch in Columbus. It was owned by him and a man called Wright. And when we gets there, I was put to work without nothing to eat. That night, I make up my mind to run away, but the next day, David takes me and the other Negroes to look at the dogs and chooses me to train the dogs with. I was told I had to play running away to freedom and to run five mile in any way and then climb up a tree. One of the Negroes tells me kind of nice to climb as high in the tree as I could if I didn't want my body to off my legs. So I runs a good five miles and climbs up in the tree where the branches is getting small. I sits there for a long time and then I sees the dogs coming. When they gets under the tree, they sees me and starts barking. After that, I never got thinking of running away. Some Negroes die, but more were born because old Pinchbeck sees to it. He breeds Negroes as quick as he can, cause that's money for him. No man had any say in who he can have for wife. But the Negroes' husbands wasn't the only ones that keeps up having chilling, cause the masters and the drivers takes all the Negro gals they want. The children was brown and I seen one clear white one, but they are slaves just the same. The end of the war comes and old Pinchbeck says, you Negroes all come to the big house in the morning. He tells us we is free and he opens his book and gives us all a name and tells us where we comes from and how old we is and says he pay us 40 cents a day to stay with him. I stays about a year and there is no big change. Well, time goes on some more and then Lizzie and me, we gets together and we marries regular with a real wedding. We's been together a long time and we is happy. 